Okay, how awesome is this? This little painting on a doorway. I'm going to plop myself right down here and read to you my second favorite book in the whole wide world called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Hi, it's me, Rachel. Welcome back to Rachel Reads. I'm so stoked about this one. Molly Lou Mellon's one of my favorite characters on the planet. And I love a lot of characters on the planet. <laughs> She is, well, you know what? Let's just read the book and find out. <gasps> Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lovell. Stand Tall. Do you know what that looks like? I'm going to try and show you real quick. I want you guys to stand like this. Put your hands on your hips and just look up. <sighs> stand Tall. Okay. <laughs> stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lovell. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog, and she was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, walk as proudly as you can, and the world will look up to you. It's true. So she did. Look at her go. She is on the banister on one hand, and she's got all her friends watching. Friend, bird, cat, turtle, dog. Molly Lou Mellon has a lot of eclectic friendships. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, smile big and the world will smile right along with you. So she did. But oh! I love that smile. It's one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, sing out clear and strong, and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Blah, la, 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 la. That's what I imagine she sounds like. And it's just lovely. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, believe in yourself, and the world will believe in you too. It's true. Because look at her go. Ah. <gasps> She's riding a unicycle on a tightrope. The cat is being her spotter. Everybody is in amazement, even the goldfish. Oh! Pretty impressive, huh? Oh, Molly Lou Mellon. Well then, this is when the story starts to get really, really intense, guys. So then Molly Lou Mellon had to move to a new town. Ooh, have you ever had to do that? She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all her friends. Look. She had to say bye. That might be a little scary. And started a new school. Scary and exciting. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo. <gasps> Is that very nice? No way, Jose. In gym class, he called her that. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. He wasn't being nice. There's nothing more foolish than being mean. <laughs> On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. <gasps> That's so mean. Hmm. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. <laughs> All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Ronald Durkin, when are you going to learn? I know you just want to be nice. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck, honk, honk. Oh, do you believe he said that? It's so mean. Molly Lou Mellon sang out, Quack! So clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the day. And Ronald Durkin felt you guessed it, very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said she made her snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and odd, even Ronald Durkin. You know, I think everybody just wants to be nice deep down. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. And look, he combed his hair and he got dressed up. <laughs> it's 
kind of cute, huh? <laughs> well, that night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. It said, Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. <laughs> and that is the end. But look, real quick, Grandma and her big cat. Don't you just love it? That is the end. Yay! Now let's practice standing tall one more time. You ready? Stand up as tall as you can and put your hands on your hips and look up. I don't know if you can see all of me. Okay, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Stand tall, kids. See you next time. <laughs>